For today's video, the only players that are eligible are those that were taken in the first round of the entry draft. Let's find out which team we will be undergoing this draft challenge with. It is the Flow Rida Panthers. No owner mode. Don't want to deal with goals, arenas, stuff like that. It is an absolute no thank you on behalf of me. Fantasy draft will be on, however, because that's kind of the whole point. And Jabroni will, of course, yet again, be off. Draft pick number 11. I just had a random feeling. So let's see if I am correct. No, we got 27, not even close. I'm just thinking, is it going to be hard to find goalies taken in the first round? I'm not going to take one right now, but I want to check, kind of scout out here. So Sorokin was third round, fourth round. Oh no. Okay, Jake Ottinger was first round. So if he's still there, then maybe I will actually scoop him up. But I'm not taking him as our first pick. Samsonov. Okay, he should still be there because we have pick 27. So there's not really a lot after us. And then our next pick is obviously going to be the snake draft inverse. So uh, let's go ahead and take Crosby as our very first pick. Sydney the kidney. And then... Please, Jakey O, still be there. Yes! All right. Lovely. I'm fine with grabbing a defenseman now, so that way we have a stud forward, stud goalie, stud D-man, Alex Pietrangelo. I, yes, I know it's Petrangelo. Let's relax. Jeff Skinner, first line sniper for Crosby. Should I do it for the memes? I'm going to do it. Pavelski, Captain America. A seventh round steal, you know. Madness. Ekholm went in the fourth round. He would have been so good to play with Petrangelo. Definition of unfortunate. Look it up. You're going to find this. I'm taking another centerman. Nas. Seven million is a little extreme, but whatever. Hannafin went in the first round. He's a left-handed defender. Nearly five mil, but yeah, I think it's worth it. Definitely going to have to be careful later on, but I think I might go with Kreider here. Giroud is also a first rounder. If I can get both of them. That would be heat, and I'm gonna try it. No, mission failed. Someone took Giroux in that short period of time. Zuccarello, undrafted, what a hero. Duchesne's only at three mil this year. Yeah, I don't care if we have a lot of centers. The new David Krejci is returning, and I'm gonna try to draft him every single time I can because he is nuts. Matheson and McDonough, both first rounders. One is making significantly less money and I mean, not significantly, but you know, that is another player right there. And I think I have to go with Matheson. He's younger, making less. Let's do it. Luke Shen, the Intimidator went fifth overall in 2008. Defensive defenseman, he shoots right. Yeah, I'll put you on the second pair. How about JVR going second overall in 2007? Making 1 million in this game. Yeah. Now the question is, is there any other goalies that went first round? There has to be. Okay, so we got Jack Campbell, but he's making 5 million, so gonna veto that for the time being. There's gotta be another one somewhere. There we go. Malcolm Subban, 81 overall, making 775. Perfect. Sixth round for Cam Atkinson. We do need right wingers, so that would have been very good for us, but... Alas, it was not meant to be. Kapanen was a first rounder, however, in 2014. And as a result, he will be joining Flo Rida. Nick Letty was taken in the first round. Four million is, again, not really ideal right now, but we'll make it work. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to finish up our decor right now. I'll go with Eric Johnson. He is right, and he was a first overall pick in 2006. So I think he's very fitting. Blake Wheeler might actually be a first liner for us. And you know what? I am here for it. Yeah, maybe our first line will be Crosby, Skinner, and Kreider. Because Skinner is left wing slash right wing. So they might just put him on the right side. In fact, I might do that, I should say. Ryan Reeves, welcome to the squad. Well, I just realized that Reeves wasn't taken in the first round. I just wanted to add some toughness to the team. Didn't even look. So that was a waste of a pick. Both Tanev and Shiri are undrafted. Wow, there's a lot, I feel like. Very ideal selection right now. First rounder in 2008, 82 overall and making 775. Cannot go wrong. We have the cap space for it, so why not? Let's go with Backland. 2007, he went 24th. Just enough cap space. And he went 28th in 2003. Corey Perry joining the team. Oh wait, I just realized we're not done yet because I have to replace... Reeves and I think he was making like just over one mil so I need a player this could be our guy right here he had to have right 17th Parise 
will be our Reeves replacement, I guess. There you have it. I do like our team. I really want to see what we look like in the edit lines and what the chemistry is saying, but I think we should be in contention for the playoffs. I will start by going to roster moves this time because of the accident. So, Lambert, what are you doing up here? Eh, whatever. Why not? Reeves, you gotta go, unfortunately. So, I will be sending you down to the AHL, and now... Let's edit the lines. They're putting Kadri on the right wing, which doesn't even make sense. He's a center. If I move him over there, I do that. Whoa, okay. Okay, so you're staying there for sure. And I will move Skinner over to the right side. Our chemistry is very limited. Also, why is Brad Lambert actually in the lineup? Who scratched? There has to be... Oh, Bailey. Yeah, no. 100%. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we aren't playoff bound. I would like to think that we are, but this isn't looking too good. Matheson, I can't even really move him up and change that. Not really worth doing that either. Nope, so we'll leave it at 001. And our goaltender situation looks like this. Gonna run through now and just make sure everyone is a first rounder. So goalies, we are set. Forwards, hopefully we are set here as well. Looking good. And yep. Defensemen, start off with Hannafin. Yes. Lovely. 44 wins. We make playoffs. Crosby gets the most points with 89. Let's see what happens. Coming out of the gate flying here. That 8-2 win over Mini was massive. And we are sort of balancing out here, unfortunately. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay, thank you. We needed that. Nice. Currently fourth in the Atlantic Division. No, we moved up to second. Okay, so it is very volatile right now. And now we're down to fifth. We've gone on a rough stretch here, but now we've won four games in a row. The streakiness of the simulation engine strikes again. Yeah, here we go. Four game losing streak. Unbelievable. Keep the current trading block. Enter the deadline. Maybe I'll shuffle the lines up a little bit. Screw that plus four. It's clearly not working. Steven is on the block. Same with Seth Jones, Chandler. So yeah, I guess Steven is definitely the, the big fish. Jones is up there as well. Oh, Chandler, you know what? 87 overall. Fair enough. Cole Sillinger in two seconds headed to the Rangers in exchange for Seth Jones. Okay. If I move Duchesne up to here, then this line gets a plus two. Caudry is a centerman with 85 faceoffs, so I'd kind of rather have him there. Duchesne has 82, but he's center slash left wing. Crosby's faceoffs are probably nuts. Oh, 88. Thought it'd be at least 90. And I'm going to make one more move. Blake! Get up there. Actually, yeah, Duchesne's got all green check marks, so that's good. Surprised it's only a plus two, but anyway, let's see if this changes anything. We won two after the moves and then shut out by the Tampa Bay Lightning, and okay, yeah. We're wild carding, but I don't know. Still in a wild card spot? Still in a wild card spot? Does that mean we've clinched it? No! You absolute clowns. What a joke. We ended up finishing sixth in the Atlantic Division. Clearly this team was not it. Tampa Bay won the President's Trophy. The Coyotes right there with 108. 14 did not qualify, but 17 did. Great playoff system. The Rangers finished last by a lot. Let's see what their team looks like. They got Landy, Pedersen, and Schmaltz. Kemper and Nett. Hamilton and... Oh, their defensive core is literally Dougie Hamilton, and that's it. Well, I guess they got Brant Clark... Sean Walker, so it's not awful. I kind of understand why they didn't do so well, though. Crosby only had 76 points. Wheeler was 70. A nice amount from Duchesne. Kreider, 64. Skinner, never again. I gave him a shot and he blew it. Can't blame Jakey. He had good stats. Subban didn't really win games, but his stats actually aren't that bad. So I guess probably just not much help in front of him. Petrangelo, 38. Johnson, 28. Billy Huso played 74 games. I guess we see 75 down there and some 73, 72s, but 47 wins. 9-10 save percentage. A 9-17 from Bobrovsky. 47 wins as well. Kale is over point a game. The cover boy, 86 points. Rosmus Dahlin had 78. Latang 74. Hughes, 73. And McDavid playing for Chicago puts up 61 goals, 118. He wins the rocket as well as the art, and probably the heart. Rantanen had 108 though, 51 goals, good year from him. How about Pavel? 
Look at this guy go. Clearly, he and Ranton and clicked. Jesper Bratt was McDavid's line mate, so that makes a lot of sense. Tampa Bay won the presidents, right? I'm just going to check their lines out here. So they have, wow, Zegris, Matthews, and Kairou. Then they've got Toffoli, Kuznetsov, and Evander Kane. Taves, Tata, and Radish. That is crazy. Defensively, Martinez and Spurgeon, Barry, Orlov. They got to have a decent goalie too. Yeah, okay, so... I understand their success. I'm gonna simulate up to when the Stanley Cup final is happening. Hopefully, anyway, it should be going on at the point that I ended. And then we can check out the line. So it is Carolina Smashville, and it is currently 1-1. The Canes grabbed a couple of capitals here in Ovi and Wilson. They also brought back Sebastian Aho in the draft. March or so, so that first line's really good. Great second line. Third line gets the job done. Yeah, you know what? I like their whole team going on here. It is solid. They got Rasmus Dahlin, Vince Dunn, and Dumoulin. So their left side is really solid. The right side is good. They've got Flurry and Salo, which I mean, yeah, they're both only 25. 10 have to play with Rasmus. Could be sort of like a mentor. Vitek Vanacek is their goalie backed up by Blackwood. I'm so used to saying Smashville that I went here and started looking at the S teams. I'm like, where are they? Anyway, they've got Bucky and Lankinen. So yeah. A great starting goalie. Their offense is not great. They've got Batherson, Bertuzzi, and Meyer. Raquel Norris and Carrier. Like, it's not terrible, but there's not a lot of abilities going on here. And their best player is 87. So their defense must be stacked, no? Ye kind of. They got Owen Power and Pulock. Larson with Ferraro. Not even really. Wow. This isn't, I'm kind of rooting for them. They're like the underdogs. Let's see if they can get the job done. No, they cannot. Carolina takes it home. Incredible playoff run from VTech. 922 save percentage. Hellebuck did okay with the team he had in front of him. Vasilevsky with a 926. He had his guy. Dahlin led defenseman, but he had 20 points in 24 games, whereas Morrissey had 19 in 18 games. So I would argue he was the best defender Point-wise in the playoffs. Can Marchiso win another con Smythe? Or will it go to Seb? It's probably gonna go to Seb. They both have 10 goals and 24 assists, which is really weird. Sebastian's plus minus is better. Took less penalty minutes. Marchiso did have two more game-winning goals though, so the plot thickens. Ovi with 19 goals, 33 points. That is quite the line. Carolina's got going on. Team awards are as follows individually. McDavid with the Art Ross and the Hart. Yep, gets the Art Hart combo. Dahlin takes home the Norris. Bratt obtains himself a Lady Bing trophy. The Calder goes to Bedard. Aho does get the Conn Smythe. Bobrovsky with the Vesna, but Demko will take home the Jennings. The Masterton goes to Pulock. Martin with the Jack Adams, Selkie, Barkov, McDavid, and McDavid. Yeah, I can tell that my voice is really starting to go. I have been on a recording frenzy. So yeah, I'm kind of happy this one's done. I'm not going to lie. But there's your playoff tree. Unfortunately, we couldn't pull through and make the playoffs. Thought we were going to. And alas, no. Can't make the playoffs in all of them though. And this is one where we missed out. Say la vie. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you could leave a like, that'd be fire. I will see you soon.